El Matador. Yes. <laughs> it's time again. It's time, brother. How's it going? Yeah, good morning. Yeah. It's great, man. Back in the Mecca. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Very, very good. cool. Yep. New York Pro, five days <laughs> yeah, away. Five days away. Oh, my God. Ready and hungry. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, let's get in there. I can't wait to show people this. All right, all right. Dude, man. <laughs> yeah. It's all happening live, bro. <laughs> That's right. Thank God. Big sale. That's it. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a workout today. I mean, All right, man. I can't wait to talk to you. I so, show the workout. Yeah, great workout. Um, talk to me a little bit about this is your second show this year. Uh, last time we spoke was well, right before you come back at the what's it, Kentucky? What what state was it? The uh, Indiana Pro. Indiana Pro. Indiana Pro. Yeah, yeah. Indiana and uh, just as I thought, uh, you did unbelievably well uh, top three your first show coming back uh, arguably could have been higher but we know how this works um, so talk to me uh, talk to me about what it felt like to compete last time because we haven't spoken since the show I mean not on camera so right. talk to me about what it was like to compete again after all these years and, and do so well on your on your comeback show you know first and foremost I have to really thank God for the strength uh, and I thank every one of you that you know believe in me and uh, you know for those that gave me the opportunity, like the IFBB president, even the promoter, Dave uh, Roa, Jim Manium, and uh, the rest of the entire IFBB Pro League uh, that, you know, were around to support me, you know. I find it very, very uh, encouraging and very, very uh, happy uh, coming back to compete, you know, uh, feeling appreciative for the uh, physique and the uh, kind of structure in the model that I bring and uh, it's not lost for the people and then they still wanted to see good physique and then it encouraged me much to come in so it was something I, I was looking forward to and uh, I had like real uh, enthusiasm to really work hard to try to bring what people expect to see so the first show was like uh, a stepping uh, stone for me to you know say okay this is a uh, uh, what I have to, you know, start and where I have to start from, and uh, the rest is yet to come in. So from there, it was a, uh, though actually it was a, a real uh, third place was something I, I was so happy about coming coming in. I, I knew I still have to do more to walk to that top. So it was uh, something that encouraged me even for this second time around to get get back in, into doing what I love doing most and uh, you know, have what the judges needed and what the fans need to see to do this coming show, the New York Pro. Right. So talk to me about um, how, when you went back to competing at the Indiana Pro, how were you uh, uh, received by the competitors and the fans and also talk to me about that a little bit, I'm sure it was special. You know, it, it was an uh, overwhelming uh, welcome and even uh, from the moment uh, my name was uh, on the list and it was published that I would be doing the show. So it was, uh, I had emails like, pouring in all over the country, pouring in even from uh, Indiana Poland's uh, fans all over, uh, promising to come and watch me in the show, you know. So and then even stepping in over there, it was everywhere I could go, even in the hotel, 
from the hotel and it was a big favor that you know I can see people who really appreciate bodybuilding, who really admire uh, uh, physique and you know admire the work that I've been doing and uh, even some of them saying they are coming in because they, they wanted to see me in the show then uh, that's the part of the fans then also with all the competitors, my fellow competitors are with uh, even in the meeting you know shaking hands, taking pictures you know the surprising thing was you know when they said oh it's an honor to compete with you a legend <laughs> so uh, and even uh, debating on uh, uh, that uh, oh you being a legend competing with the big boys already and all these things so I let them understand even some of them who are older than me know a legend is not by age a legend is because uh, I had been uh, coming with the big boys even at my youth age and then be able to rank up there with the big boys and then staying over there and that's why the name of the Jajan Killer and um, up to Matador is coming in so I'm still 42 years old going into the game strong, watching strong and then it's in my prime age so uh, I'm not afraid to step in on stage uh, I let them feel very happy to come close to me and then I really welcome every one of them I admire them for the uh, encouragement as well and then uh, appreciate every person that step up to or been looking forward to. I hear a lot of positive uh, inspiration awards that I have you know from my being there help them or even my replying to their messages and also questions you know help them to inspire more or my career in this sport uh, had inspired a lot of them to step up to where they are so it is something that's really encouraging. <laughs> that's awesome. Right. I knew this was going to happen. Talk to me about New York. New York is a special show for you. Tell me why. Right. Uh, you know, uh, New York Pro is really, really, this will be for a long time too. Uh, I have to see uh, uh, Steve Weinberg himself I know. because he's been a very uh, caring and loving man, uh, you know, in the sport, you know, who he, he, he always encouraged me, picks me in his wings and uh, in his hand and then uh, treat me like a son, just like Jim Manion does with the time. So uh, it's a very special show that uh, I will be competing because New York Pro uh, uh, turned to be the very first pro show I ever did when I started my pro career in 2006. Wow, first one. First one. So, wow. Uh, it was uh, something that, you know, I didn't know what it would be. But uh, I just wanted to be there with the big boy. But yeah, it turned out that uh, I was also welcome with the physique I brought and the encouragement of, from people around. Uh, big time legend in the sport speaking to me, stay back and then complete wish lead. So uh, where I am now from there, I step in and then nobody knew me then. But uh, I knew, I still remember also that time in the first publication. Uh, 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 Steve Blackman did to me with the muscle development that blows everywhere and then it was also from the New York Pro over there and then the welcoming of uh, uh, Steve and uh, Ben Francis so, so it's all things that you know it keep me in mind I love competing in New York Pro I've been there for forever every show I want to be there no matter what in every year so this time around I can miss to be there because it always reminds me give me a memory of where we win and where I started my pro career and my pro sport. Uh, it marks an history in my career just like it is the Europa Super Show which was my first uh, uh, pro winning with the 210 then. Uh, class 202? 210 it was before. Was it 210? 210 okay. before they dropped it to 212. Okay. Uh, I mean 202. 202, yeah. Yes, I was the first one That's to, right. that won the 212. I mean 210. Okay, gotcha. It was 210. I see, class. I see, I see. Then when I won that and I won the Super, uh, the the open. Super yeah. Show, then mm -hmm. they dropped it down to 202. Gotcha, and, gotcha, gotcha. And stop the uh, crossing over. Yeah. And that was it. So. How dangerous is silver somewhere. That was a good weekend for you. You made a lot of money that weekend. <laughs> you, got the, you won everything. I won everything. And thank, thank God my sponsors, so they gave me bonus on it. On top of that. Yeah, on top man. Of that. So it was all good, you know. Yeah. Good, good, good at all those days, you know. And it's yeah. still going to be better. I got it was. Well, so, Silvio, I'm so I'm so excited for you to go back and compete again. You look even better than last time we shot, uh, and and I knew this because you're someone that you know. The longer you train, the longer, the more you compete, the, the better you get. 
and I feel your confidence is even higher now than it was before. Uh, and I'm so happy to see that. Uh, you must feel uh, incredible right now. Yes, absolutely. The, you see me is uh, coming here, you know. Uh, like I said in my first interview with you, if I can't do this anymore, I won't just waste my time to come around here. But when I see that uh, I was caught up in the middle of where I was rising up, so it doesn't mean that uh, uh, I, I was done in the sport. I wasn't done. This is the game I love so much. And I came in with the whole mind. If I don't have anything to offer, I will not come and waste time because I'm in mind with my work. And if I, what I can say in front of you, there's no point. I will go and stay behind. So you yeah, are coming to get job done, and I always deliver. So what I do is that it's going to be more better and better from now on. Because from what I, I had before to where I am now, you can see the development. And I don't like talking much. And uh, that's why I don't put up things there. I put up what I do. I don't put up what I talk. Because I don't talk. I do things. I train. And then people can see. And then I bring it on the, on the stage. And you can judge it by yourself. So uh, that is exactly how I deliver my own job. And showing the love and passion for this sport. So I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing what you bring and then, uh, you know, adequately align what is good to stay on. And uh, who can talk, let them judge it by themselves. Because Sebu is here to deliver. I'm here to deliver and I love this game. I don't come in here to waste time. I come in here to do my job and take it to the stage. That's awesome. That's right. And five more days before you take it to the New York City stage, the New York Pro, and I'm sure everybody's getting excited, excited to see you. It's going to be a packed event, you know that. It's going to be sold out. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fans over there. Come I always on. love New York even show because New York Pro is always packed. Uh, and uh, for the fact that uh, everybody over there loves bodybuilding, and yeah. uh, the people all over the world love to compete. Yeah. Like when I look at the list, I saw it's all over the world. Everybody wants to come and compete. So right. it, it is what I see to be an international event. Not only just like That's right. as the name said, New York Pro. It's an international. It's very York, prestigious. Yeah, very prestigious. international yeah. New York Pro. Yeah. It should be. And uh, I'm really happy with uh, what we brought up between uh, our training program and section between me and Charles Glass and uh, and uh, he's been a, a very, very understanding man in terms of uh, uh, guidance, uh, fatherhood, and uh, also mentor in this very sport. So I like to work with people who understand your body and then he, they, we can sit down and reason things together. Mm -hmm. So uh, I bring up my idea and he put his own idea so we all work hard and then check on things and then it comes up together. I don't mind giving him credit, even if he doesn't want to take it, because he said, I do my thing, and I know what to handle. Yeah, he handled the training part, I handled the nutrition on my own side, but it still comes out together, because without one hand washing the other, you can't be clean. So that's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you guys have been winning for me, because you look even better than last time. And uh, I Thank can't you. wait for that New York Pro. I can't wait to see the results, and I can't wait to see what happens after. I'm hoping straight to Vegas would be nice yeah I'm looking forward to that because there's always a big show that I want to step in there you know yeah the bigger the show the better I become that's right so uh, uh, I'm working towards bigger things because if we set our goals within ourselves here that means we don't have a set goals to meet our, uh, our future yeah. so uh, progress is what I want I stay positive to get my progress and uh, nothing is impossible with God all is possible so with that I'm looking forward to, you know, you know, do what I need to do and I pray and hope that uh, I will be rewarded so that I can be with the big boys in, in the in the in Vegas also to compete in the big show. Well so best of luck in five days in New York and I can't wait to catch up with you for the next shoot before the next show. I thank you and I thank every of my fans that these are always encouraging. I thank you and I receive every email that you guys write for those that have answered and for those who have not yet, I'll still have to look into it. And I thank you because uh, one thing I want to tell everybody, believe in yourself. Don't be a follower because we are made to be a leader with authority to know what you do when you believe yourself. 
So Sylvia believed in himself. So if I deliver, it's because I have God with me that give me an authority and give me the body to perform. So we all have to believe in what God gave us. I thank you all, and I thank you, David. I thank the Cutler Telling TV, and I thank you, Jay, also for giving me this chance. Also, God bless. Anytime. Good luck, Sal. Thank you, bro.